Okay, this next question could be potentially a long one. We're going to come up with a frequency table again and construct a histogram. It's got 30 parts, 30 or 31 parts listed here. Uh, the data is listed in a table and you could enter in those 25 different scores into the Texas Instruments TI-84 and sort the data like I've shown, shown elsewhere. But check this out. StatCrunch might do even more. Excel might do even more. However, I'm only going to make the sorting go more quickly. got the file opening up. Okay, let's see here. Let make sure you can see all of this. So we've got all 25 scores showing here. And if you go to data and sort, data and then sort, we can sort from smallest to largest in that column. Now, based on what I showed before, we could find out the range here. And let's see, our highest score is 70,000. Make sure it's typing. There we go. 70,786 minus 70, got some controls on the way. Let me get those out of the way. Okay, minus the minimum score of 39,639, and then you can divide it by any whole number between 5 and 12. For example, if I divide by 5, that gives me 6,229.4. If I divided it by 12, that would give me 2,595.5 something. So, Let's see here. Let's see what they had in the directions. They wanted us to use a class width of 5,000, and that is something that's somewhere in between. So let's go with it. Mm -hmm. The Lower class limit should be 35,000, which is less than the minimum, but not too much less. So let's see here. All right, if we start at 35,000, that means that we're going to be going up with a class width of 5,000 to 40,000. And there's only one score that is in that group. Ah, okay. I want this going to 39,999. Okay. And why is that? Because medium income in dollars would be a discrete quantitative variable. So our next one, 
pick up at 40,000 and instead of going to 45,000, go to 44,999. There are one, two, three, three of them it looks like, nope, four. The next one's too high. So four, uh, four of them. Oh, five. Going from the second to the sixth. And then 45,000. Not to 50,000, but to 49,999. One, two, three of them. Picking up at 50,000. Not going to 55,000, but to the next lowest. So 54,999. Let's see, 50,000. One, two, two of them. Didn't read that very carefully, but let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Okay, so 55,000. Not to 60,000, but $1 less than that. So 59,999, we've got one, two, three of them. And then picking up at 60,000, not going to 65,000, but $1 less than that. So a reminder, if you look at a lower limit, lower class limit, uh, one class to the next, that's 5,000. The upper class limits, the difference between each consecutive class is upper class limit is 50,000. And you would have, sorry, 5,000. Um, and then you would have going from 35,000 to $30,999. If you start counting, you would count off 5,000 of them. That's the logic being followed by this textbook. Okay, 60,000. One, two, three, four, five. The next one after that is too high. 65,000. And then 69,999, we've got uh, just one of them right here. And then finally 70,000, 74,999, also just one of them. That should give us a total of 25, 6, 9, 15, 18, 23, 24, 25. Then they want a relative frequency table starting again at a lower class limit of the first one being 35,000 and a class width of uh, 5,000. So we're going to be dividing one by 25, which should be 0.04. So 35,000 to 39,999, 39, 999 to 0.04, 40,000 to 44,999. That one, 
is five times as big, that should be 0.20. So I'm dividing five by 25. Point two oh or just point two. Okay, forty five thousand to forty nine 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 nine. There were three. Three divided by twenty five should be point one two. Fifty thousand to fifty four nine nine nine. In this relative frequency table, I'm just setting up lower and upper class limits um, that are the same as what we had in the frequency table. So six over twenty five should be point two four, I believe. Okay. 55,000 to 59.999. Okay. We had three again, so we should have 0.12 again. Sixty thousand to sixty-four nine nine nine. That was five out of 25. We had already done that on the second one, so she would, we should have 0 0.20 again. Sixty-five thousand to sixty-nine nine nine nine. That was one. One out of 25 again is 0.04. And finally, 70,000 to 74,999, another one. So that should be 0.04 again. And if we look at the total of the relative frequencies, since there was no rounding, add 0 0.24, 0 0.36, 0 0.60, 0 0.72, 0 0.92, 0 0.96, 1.00. Okay, so frequency histogram. The labeling is going to be along the vertical axis. We'll want to see zero, and then the highest frequency we had was six. They are showing us things as high as eight, and One five three. I'm going to write this down on paper. One five three six three five one one. So we've got eight classes, eight rectangles. Clearly, it's not choice A because those are showing the same heights instead of one five three clearly it's not b because that's going down from the first to the second when it should be going up i should leave out d as well let's be very careful though one five three that three is higher than one jumps up to six down to three back to five and then one one we should have the same kind of shape with our relative frequency histogram the shape of the distribution if it weren't for that final one at the end of the list we had one five three six three five and one but then one more one 
if it weren't for that one more one, I would want to think that it is symmetric. In fact, not only that, but since it's not the same height the whole time, it, it is not uniform. Maybe they want bell shapes. Now we're supposed to repeat this with a class width not of 5,000, but of 10,000, which is going to give us fewer groups. Now, first one was 39,639. And and if we're going to start at 35,000 again, again, I want to go up to 45,000, but $1 less than that. And we have, besides the very first one, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, six of them if I'm correctly assuming starting at 35,000 again. And apparently I was. Okay, 45,000, not 55,000, but $1 less than that. 45,000. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And then 55,000 to 64,999. 55,000, starting with this one. This other one was in the previous class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Next one's too high. And then 65,000 to 74,999. That's going to give us the last two, it looks like for a total of 25. Now, I don't like that there are only four classes here, but I didn't get to choose in this multiple choice question. Same as before, dividing by 25. Six divided by 25, we should have 0.24. Same lower and upper class limits. Nine divided by 25 should be 0.36. If you're wondering how I'm doing that, um, dividing by 25, if I multiplied that by four, I'd be dividing by 100. But then I would have to multiply what I'm dividing into as well. So I'm turning nine out of 25 into 36 out of 100. So, point three six. Okay. Eight over twenty five, same as thirty two over a hundred. And then two over 25, same as eight over 100. So point zero eight. So what we're seeing here is from one to the next, an increase, then a decrease by a little bit, not back as low as this, and then a real sharp decrease. 
So whether we're talking about a frequency histogram or a relative frequency histogram, looks like A should be the choice here. Whereas B has decreased in the whole time as we work left to right, C has increased the whole time as we work left to right, and then D has a jumping up at the highest class, which it should not. So choice A is what I'm going with. And then in the relative frequency histogram, I'm going to pick something looking similar to this. I'm going to go with C. Now the shape of that, they may still want us to say bell shapes. I would think that we have more on the left and so skewed right, but I doubt they're going to agree with me. The bell shaped distribution, the highest frequency occurs in the middle and frequencies tail off to the left and to the right of the middle. And that is happening. It's just that it's not happening as much on the left as it is on the right. But they wanted bell shapes. So does one provide a better uh, summary of the data than the other? Personally, I think only having four classes is too clumped together. However, the original, even though eight groups was enough, it's between five and 12 classes. I can't really tell what's going on here because it's going up, down, up, down, up, down. Whereas, okay. Although they're calling both of them bell-shaped, it's not as clear to me when looking at C in the relative frequency. Back here, it looks more like it's bell-shaped. So perhaps that's what is meant. Not entirely sure. I can't get into their brains again in a later chapter, not too much later, we'll be talking about a numerical way to discuss the shape. And maybe we'd get more information instead of just looking at the graph.